Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's me, JD Hawk, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, so in the last episode, I did a. Um, we are on our survival realm, and we built a sheep slash wool farm. And uh, essentially, all it is is an automatic farm that collects sheep's wool, and and it's just a great way of collecting coloured wool, so you can go around decorating your world, whether it's big builds, uh, put carpet down in your house, all that good stuff. Just decoration in general. Um, it's a great way. It's a great little farm to build. Uh, it's very easy, very simple. Um, the amazing thing about this farm is you don't actually need to follow the steps that I'm about to show you. It's just essentially the basics. Okay. So um, I've got a few items in here that you are gonna probably want to want. You're gonna want some any type of building block you you need. Uh, chest, obviously to collect. Uh, the hopper to feed the chest. Um, some grass blocks for the sheep to eat, a uh, dispenser which will dispense the shears to cut the walls of the sheep, uh, an observer to obviously observe when the sheep's eating the wool so it can um, send off the signal for the dispenser, and the redstone to obviously connect these two. Uh, you want on some power rail, uh, powered rail and normal rail for your minecart with a hopper that will go around collecting all the wool. Uh, obviously just any light source to keep mobs away and you're going to want glass to block the sheep in again it doesn't have to be glass it's just nice to see and all your shears now i'm gonna build a solo um sheep slash wool farm for now and i'm going to show you multiple ways of what you can do this is just the basics of what uh you need to do okay so you can start off with your collection system um you're going to want a hopper on top and then what you can do is put your building blocks next to it. Now we're just going to do this nice and easy. Uh, this is for your rail. Get off the horse. Did not want to get on him. Okay. Okay. We're just going to trash everything. Uh, I've got the redstone torch to obviously power these. Again, you don't have to copy this exact. This is just simply for uh, a, just a little build that I'm just quickly coming up with. You you can build this any shape, any format. You can build it tall, you can build it short and wide. You can build it uh, this way and that way and that way and that way. And you can make it circular you can honestly you can do anything with it you can get, have all the colors you can just have one sheep if you wanted to it, it's this is such an easy build I, I cannot stress that enough right so that's forever going okay now essentially your sheep will line up on this cart okay oh i just got rid of the glass Bear with me, this is my first tutorial, so <clears throat> completely new to all this. Uh, so I'm going to give it my best shot, but yeah, it'll probably seem, you know, not too good. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly build uh, the chamber of the sheeps. Or sheep. Uh, what you can do though. Um, actually, before I do that, is oh, I'm gonna need the observer. Uh, but this row, so the back row, can be your dispensers. We'll, we'll do one block gap. And that is to separate the sheep, obviously, otherwise the dispensers could miss. So yes, all it is essentially is uh, the dispenser will... The observer will pick up the grass block getting eaten by the sheep. 
it will send the redstone signal to a dispenser, which will set off the shears, which will obviously shear the sheep, dropping the um, the wool into the minecart. I just realised that's not going to work because the minecart's not going to reach it. So that is on me. Again, you don't have to build this exactly how I am. You could build this however you want. It is so easy, so simple. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, a way you can do it. Oh, observer. You're gonna want your observers facing the dirt blocks like so can have multiple dirt blocks like I've obviously got on each side here. You don't have to if you don't want to. You could, uh, if you want to make it look prettier, you could obviously replace these uh, with your building block. Uh, it's just for aesthetics so. though. But um, you can also keep it dirt. And the good thing about that is it's extra grass for the sheep to eat. So if they do eat this block and it takes a while to grow back, they, they can grow back from these quickly. Um, plus the sheep should be able to reach down and eat those blocks anyway. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good way of uh, making sure there's always something for the sheep to eat. So you're going to put a block on the back of the observers. And you're going to put some redstone dust on the back of the observer. So, like that. And that is essentially it. It is honestly so simple. I wasn't lying to you. And then what I'll do is I'll show you multiple ways of doing this sort of uh, doing this sort of farm, so you could have different methods in your world. I'd have five the sheep to spawn in, wouldn't it? So once your sheep are in, obviously you would use uh, wool to get them in. And as you'll see, eat the grass, shears will get set off. And as the shears get set off, the wool hits the ground and the hopper drives by, picks it all up. And it is that easy. That easy. It will drop it in the system here. Already you're on tool to wool. So what I would recommend doing is um getting some dyes and dyeing the sheep one white maybe uh we'll do one black um one red you can have the black you can wait for now because you've got nothing to dye it is already collecting as you can see and then yeah the good thing about this is you can make this i could extend this exact build just out lengthways uh, like we do on my realm we have quite a long one with lots of sheep i think we have 15 in total um you could have like this you could have a three there and then right next to it you could just copy this exact build and put it right here um it is so simple like i i can't stress it enough it's one of the easiest farms uh to build um and it's quite cheap as well you don't necessarily need to have um you wreck the rail car with the hopper, I don't think. You could use uh, regular hoppers, maybe. But I've, I've got a feeling it might uh, it might play off a little bit. So you are better off just sticking with this um, hopper with the minecart. Um, there's multiple ways as well. I, I'm going to show you a way where there's... Say you're in a situation early game where you don't have an observer, maybe. I'm going to show you a way where you can use an activator rail to essentially so you could have, say i could put an, uh, an activator rail here and what that activator rail will do is as the rail car goes over it will set off a redstone signal which you can obviously bring to the to the um dispensers up here and just connect it up with redstone and it's the exact same situation apart from it will be a constant tick rather than um the observer which will go as soon as it's ready that it will be a constant tick which can be quite handy in its own little way you know but yeah, that is that is essentially it, guys, um, in terms of simplicity. So what I'm going to do now is I will maybe build another design for you to potentially copy. Uh, but I will keep in the long version. I won't do any cutting of what I just did here, just so you can follow it exactly and maybe get to understand it. Um, but yeah, I hope I've explained it, the you know the basics of it, and you pretty much get it. it is, you, you just can't go wrong. You, can, you can't mess this up as long as you have this simple method 
of a hopper collecting and the dispensers with shears, you cannot go wrong. It is so simple, and I recommend anyone to um, do this do this build. So I'm going to cut for now, and we're going to come back to when I'm ready to build another one. Okay, so I have simply just set up a uh, little circle for now. Just to show you, in terms of shapes, you can do whatever you want with this, and there's so many different ways of doing this build, okay? Again, I'm not going to stress this enough. It is so easy to do. You can make this as high up as you want, um, but we will keep it uh, fairly low for now. I'll tell you what, we're going to do it too high just so we can walk under here absolutely fine. So I'm going to essentially build this platform this uh, platform again, um, and again this is solely just to show you that there's so many ways of doing this farm, you cannot go wrong. Okay, so as you can see I've built the platform again. Um, and this is just so you can play around with how you want your carts to go. Um, so you can build whatever shape you want again here. As long as the rail cart does pass over uh, this, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, here you go. Let's just, I'm going to start by doing an odd shape there, I guess. So yeah, again, you don't need to build a necessary shape to this, it's sort of, as long as it works, you're absolutely fine. So for now, I will chuck down a few powered rails somewhere, uh, just to keep this thing moving at speed. I'm very sorry if you can hear the dog in the background, squeaking her ball whilst I'm trying to record. Two seconds. Okay, sorry about that. Um... So yes, I'm just going to continue going around, putting a few of these powered rails down to keep the uh, speed of the rail cart going, obviously. Uh, it doesn't have to be rapid, it's just, you know, you don't want to lose the momentum. I think that'll do for now. Get a few redstone torches quickly. And again, I'm going to try not to cut too much in this video, because I want you to just um, really see how simple this is. It does not require much at all. I'm just sort of trying to show you how you don't nest you don't need to follow a distinct pattern or a, you know if someone builds something you don't have to exactly copy it you can sort of do your own flourish to it and you can make it look as messy as neat as you want it does not matter as you can see I'm just sort of making it kind of messy at the minute but I'm gonna few chuck a few um, of these activator uh, detector rails in sorry so when the rail cart goes over it it will detect it and it will send out a signal uh, and i'll show you a way of doing that it's super easy it'll just be another platform on top of this which i will build now i'm gonna make it out of dirt for the sheep Okay, so we've built a platform for the sheep to go on, um, and we're going to try uh, quickly create a pen for them to be in. Uh, I will just cut here just to change my inventory real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm back with the resources I need, so we're going to try to build the uh, the sheep pen. Um, I'm also actually going to quickly, I'm going to not use the glass, I'm going to change it up and use the fence, just to show you that you really can use whatever you want, as long as you, you know, keep the sheep. Uh, where they aren't going to get affected. So, by affected I mean obviously escape and stuff like that. Um, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so we need to organise the sheep heads. Um, I'm going to make it... 
just I'm gonna make it a bit you know might be a bit messy but it will work <laughs> now I'm gonna need to I shouldn't have put the sheep down okay that was too early it's fine put a glass on top just so the sheep can't jump on the dispenser and out um <clears throat> That should work. What I will do is I'm going to put grass here just to keep um, the thing going that, you know, it, the sheep can walk around and uh, eat more grass that's available. I guess that's the beauty of the, um, the fence rather than the glass is that it can actually reach all the other blocks that will be around it, uh, which again means that it can grow its um, wall back a lot quicker, meaning that obviously, well, more, more wool for you really. So I'm going to quickly go to bed and make sure it's daytime when I'm going to build this. Okay, so again, I am simply building the, this how I am building it right now, just to show that it really can be as messy as you like, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You can sort of just throw it around, throw it together however you want, and it will just work. That's the beauty of this build. So I'm just going to continue making um, some sheep pens right now. And I'll be back when I'm done. I just realized something. Um, First of all, make sure you're obviously building on top of the railway cart, just so it can definitely, you know, collect the uh, wool. Because if you do it somewhere in the middle, where it, which isn't covered, like say this part of here for me, so if I put some wool here, say, put a sheep here, it's not going to really work. Uh, also, another thing that I forgot to sort of keep an eye on myself was make sure that you make these dispensers um, accessible by the redstone. Say, for example, this one's going to be tricky. You obviously can bridge over to it and stuff, but just the way that I'm using the fences, it's just a quick way of showing you. Uh, not to do it like this, essentially. <laughs> Okay, so once you have something like this, I'm just going to quickly chuck in the light source to make sure, you know, stuff may not actually spawn. Um, you're going to try and obviously lure your sheep all the way up here uh, if you're on survival. Like so. And then, again, you can dye them to your whatever, whichever ones you would like. I recommend dyeing it first, unlike like I did with these guys where I did it at the end. I, can't, I can never seem to catch this guy now. Also, whilst we've been building this, this is constantly going off in the background. Look how much wood we've got already. That's just from free sheep in the space of... I don't even know how long I've been recording for, like, 20 minutes? Not long at all. Um, so, yeah, these are really effective. So, what I'm going to go, I'm going to do, what I will do now, sorry, is cut here, dye all the sheep the colour I want, and I will also get some shears, and I will put them in all of the dispensers real quick. So, BRB. So, all the sheep now have uh, shears in their, in their um, dispensers. So now you're just going to link up the redstone to all of these. I've got to put my rail cut down. I also made a mistake that I put redstone torches here, <laughs> meaning it's activated with the dispensers constantly. Uh, so that is a big mistake. Uh, what I'll have to do is remove them and then replace uh, where the activator, uh, the activator rail is 
with the powder rail, sorry, with redstone blocks, and that should uh, help fight that problem. So I'll cut back. Again, you could easily avoid this, um, what I've done here, just by obviously making it taller, giving yourself room to play with. I obviously have tried making it quite compact, meaning I'm struggling for space, um, but this all should work. Uh, so yeah, you've just, all you've got to do is link them all up, and now we give this a little push. Actually, a hand. There you go. Should start whizzing around, no problem. I just realised because I'm an idiot. I just realised because I'm an idiot, I need to let this signal go over one, but there you go, that should work. So now as you see the rail car is flying around and every time it goes over it's sending out the signal. And that is activating all the dispensers, uh, meaning the sheep are all getting sheared, meaning this minecart is going to go around collecting all their wool. Uh, we do seem to be missing this yellow one, and I wonder if it's because of the placement. Could be. Um, easy solution, to, if you're having this problem, what I've got right now, is either simply move the sheep over one, or just uh, put some extra rail down. You can have multiple carts going at once. This is, again, the reason I've just built this real quick thing and just chucked it in like I have and it looks messy, it's just to show you that anything works. Like, it's just to show how easy this build is. It is so simple. Um, and yeah, all it takes is, you just gotta be careful. I mean, you can build it like this, messy as you like, and sort of throw it together till it works. But you could also build it like uh, this, which was obviously, this one's much more efficient. It's cleaner, I personally like it more, um, it works better I think, and it's just nicer to look at. It works just as efficiently. Uh, I don't actually think this one's working that well to be honest, I got a feeling. Yeah, you see, some of these actually aren't wired up properly. So by putting them next to each other, we're having an issue. That will work, like so. Um, but it's just a case of playing around with it until it works. Uh, again, this is simply to show you just how easy it is to build this farm. Uh, anyone can do it. If I can do this, anyone can do it, and I, I mean that. So yeah, I'm going to spend a couple of minutes here making it work. But yeah, honestly, super easy. You can just throw it around like I have here. Um, I have it. It's, there's still some which aren't collecting in a minute because again, the redstone signal needs to be going perfectly into it. But honestly, it's so, it's, it's so easy to do. It's as long as you're smarter than I was. Again, I'm just trying to show an example that you can kind of be as messy as you want and you can get away with it. Yes, this doesn't work 100%, but it works well enough to use. As you can see, it's collecting the wool no problem now. Um, but yeah, on anything you can do, you can, th this was obviously without observers, where you just need a detector rail here to pick up a signal. Um, this was with observers, which I personally, is my favourite because it's just so quick and you literally don't have to do anything. You know, sometimes rail carts can be weird and they can just randomly break or stuff can get in and stop it moving, so you just gotta keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah. This video was just to simply show how easy this farm is to build, and I know I keep saying it, but I, it's so easy. How are you not being able to build this? <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, I'd love to see some of your designs. Uh, maybe put some comments into a link of another video, show me other people's designs, because this is just a little example of, this is how I think it should be done, but this is how it can be done if you want to. Um, I will quickly cut here and take you to one of my other creative worlds where I first sort of uh, built one similar to this but on a much better level. Uh, so I will go to there. I will go over there now and I will show you uh, what a good one of this round shape will look like.
Okay, so here we are in my other random creative world. Got a little lion farm, as you can see, the same one as we have on the server. It works amazingly well. Uh, this is a creeper farm that we tried attempting. Um, I think I got this off Noise Gaming. Uh, and it does work. It's 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 a huge pain in the bum to, to make, but it is quite effective for gunpowder. Uh, the only reason why it's so difficult to make is all of the trapdoors and buttons that alternate on every level. Uh, but that's to essentially decrease the size so other mobs can't spawn in it, only creepers can. Uh, which is great. And again, it does work well, it can be quite slow. Um, there's nothing really good on this farm. This this used to be a bone farm, it doesn't work anymore, it needs an update. Uh, but essentially you used to flick this and it would just it would fast create um, what was in there, kelp and it will essentially turn to bone mill but it doesn't work anymore uh this is a item sorter that uh that was quite easy to make then i'll probably build on my round sooner or later uh essentially with the idea is you go mining you come back you dump all your stuff in here and it will self sort into uh the chest that it's needed uh you do this by locking items and putting fillers in uh, the fillers can be whatever you want, uh, misguided items, stuff like that. It's very easy to build, can be quite expensive with the hoppers and all that, but it's very good. This is the sheep farm I want to show you. This works so well. I've had it running. This is one of the first things I've built out of all this. Uh, that's just some pixel art my girlfriend made. We love doing pixel art, me and my partner. Uh, we do some really cool ones. We'll have to show one, some of them off uh, in another video. But yeah, this thing's been running since I started. And it's essentially the same idea. It's um, the same size. It's just a bit better planned out. Um, as, as you can see, I've given myself a lot of room in there. And I've put a lot of detector rails. Uh, but separately. So this one detector rail will activate these three sheep. This one over here, these three. One over here for these three. And one over here for these three. So it's not a load of sheep, but obviously you could keep building this up if you wanted to. I've also made a line of hoppers to make it easier to collect. Um, and there's just one powered rail keeping it going. And the reason I did that is so when you're on the bottom floor, if you wanted to, you could always turn it off. Because it can be quite noisy, obviously, with the minecart going 24-7. Uh, but yeah, look how much wool you can get from this farm. These farms are great. If this was on survival, think out the amount of like the endless possibilities with this, you know, pop of, pop of color in your world. It's it's honestly amazing. So, yeah, I do really recommend uh, building one of these uh, in your survival world. Uh, it's just great purely if you're a builder and you like some decoration. You have to build this. It's super simple. Uh, again, this is without observers, so this was kind of complicated. Probably a little bit cheaper with observers. Uh, it's so much easier. Uh, yeah, it might cost a bit more resource, but it is super easy with the observer. As long as you've got the observer watching the grass, so it can keep an eye on the grass. And then when the grass block gets eaten by the sheep, the dispensers activate. And yeah, it's so simple. I probably said that a thousand times in this video. Super easy farm. You have to build it. Please give it a go. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, it's my first tutorial video ever. Um, so leave a little like, leave a comment, let me know how it went, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.